The battle for the Anambra North senatorial ticket was a tough one for aspirants of the All Progressives Grand Alliance. The primary election had been fixed for May 28th in Anambra East Local Government Area headquarters, but it never held due to security concerns. The party then announced Chubai Ekbazu Stadium Monicha as venue for the exercise the next day. Voting was conducted peacefully, with 276 votes cast. Former First Lady of Anambra State, Mrs. Abele Obiano, defeated the immediate past chief of staff to the former governor to clinch the party ticket. Adele Primus, Ukochuku, scored the total number of 120 votes. Obiano Abele Chuku V, scored the total number of 152 votes. By the power invested on me as the returning officer of this uh, senatorial, Anambra North Senatorial election, I hereby declare Chief Mrs. Eberechuku Obiano at the winner. <laughs> Tribulation continues as party members react to Mrs. Obiano's victory. Since they declared uh, Excellency Abele Jugu Obiano the winner, that means it holds. So we are happy about that. I will congratulate her on behalf of the people of Onitsha North Constituency too, which is where I'm representing now. Uh, it's a party affair, it's a family affair. Uh, she, uh, she has won the election and we all uh, will fall in line and uh, make sure we deliver in the national uh, elections come uh, next year. In other National Assembly elections, Senator Ifan Yuba has emerged the Young Progressive Party's candidate for a number of South Senatorial District, giving him a chance to contest for a second term. Meanwhile, Mohamed Bashir won the Nasarawa Total Constituency Primary of the All Progressive Congress. He beat incumbent Mohamed Ari, who did not get any votes. The victory is actually a victory for democracy, and all of us are Democrats. And uh, I join us to exhibit, you know, uh, spirit of sportsmanship. Let's come together, let's work together, let's synergize, you know, collaborate and uh, see to the emergence of uh, myself and the party at the general elections. The former information minister under President Olusha Gombasanjo, Frank Weke Jr., won the All Progressives Grand Alliance governorship primary election to fly the party flag in 2023 general elections. He polled 273 votes to defeat his closest rival, Jeff Namani, who scored 267 votes. I hereby declare Chief Frank Moke Moke Junior as the elected candidate of All Progressive Red Alliance for 2023 general election. I commend the sportsmanship with which the entire process has been managed, the cordiality with which everything has progressed. And I want to just commit myself to ensuring that everyone here is carried along. We're going to join hands because our ultimate aim is to ensure that Africa takes over the seat of government in this state. Individual primaries, these candidates have one more hurdle to cross as they face candidates from other political parties to win the seats being contested for in the 2023 general elections.